Hey everyone, Simon Says Money here. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'd like to discuss the ARKX ETF that just came out last week and talk about the individual stocks that are really the, the high portions in that ETF. Before we get into this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Turn on that bell notification because I do research on individual stocks, cryptos, ETFs, and let you guys know so together we can make some money. As a disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor or CPA. This is for entertainment purposes only. Now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on with this video. All right, today, April 6, 2021, the Dow Jones is down 121 points, S&P 500 down 6 points, NASDAQ down 17.88 points, and the 10-year Treasury is at 1.65%, so down a little bit. So overall, the market is pretty flat, but in the negative territory. The 10 year treasury yield did ramp up last week and is now at 1.6%. It was at the highest level since January. The sell off in bonds has come with, with a combination of optimism over the US vaccine rollout and the possibility of an infrastructure bill providing more stimulus to the economy. The massive scale of stimulus has caused considerable nervousness over inflation and has been behind the recent sell off in government bonds. Good news for Tesla, Tesla has secured an order for 10 electric semi-trucks and 2 megachargers according to Electric. The deal includes about $2 million in support from the US government. Also Tesla numbers came out April 2nd, 2021 of the vehicle production and deliveries, delivering more than 180,000 deliveries in Q1 of 2021. The great news there, Tesla stocks did go up last week. Many friends are interested in the ARK ETF, and some investors, including myself, have the holdings of ARK ETF. I have presented ARK ETFs in my previous videos. Let's watch a portion of the clip from my previous videos on ARK X. Kathy Wood just filed a new prospectus for an ETF called ARK X. This will be focused on space traveling and exploration, very advanced and very forward looking, visionary ETF. Let's find more about Kathy Wood's ARKX ETF. Uh, let's look into the stocks that may be under their belt and take a look more in depth of this ETF. Now we all know space traveling and exploration have tremendous opportunity for mankind and for financial benefits in which we as investors are particularly interested in. But at the same time, we also know that space traveling and exploration present humongous challenges and risks. For those of you who don't know who Kathy Wood is, she is the CEO and fund manager for a company called ARK Invest, which they have several ETFs. And last week, ARKX just officially launched. It is the eighth ETF of ARK Invest, or its sixth active ETF, because ARK's PRNT and IZRL are passive ETFs. Annual fee is 0.75%, same as the other five active ETF. The cost is pretty low for an active ETF. Here is the new ARKX ETFs holdings, all 38 of what ARKX is being held, what stocks they are. We will get into some of these later in this video. So Kathy Woods ARK Investment Management launched its first new ETF in two years on Tuesday. A key test of the money manager's appeal after a choppy few months of both flows and performance, the actively managed ARK Space Exploration ETF, the ticker symbol ARKX, which tracks U.S. and global companies engaged in space exploration and innovation, saw more than $294 million worth of shared change hands in Tuesday trading, eighth best debut in ETF history. When ARK filed for the fund in January, it triggered an industry-wide rally such with the hype surrounding Wood, whose ETFs were among the best performing of 2020. Her ETFs in 2020, all five active ETFs were up more than 100%. So Kathy Wood has been trending in the stock market world. A lot of investors, institutional traders, retail traders, know who Kathy Wood is, know of her funds, and people are getting attention and she's getting a lot of media attention nowadays. Nevertheless, ARK ETFs overall has attracted more than $16 billion of new cash this year, signaling demand for a new offering could be robust. Despite recent turbulence, all five of Wood's existing actively managed products are up more than 130% in the past 12 months. So let's talk about some of the holdings that ARKX has. We have TRMB, Trimble, 
DRNT, KTLS, LHX, JD, 6301, LMT, IRDM, HO, BA, NVIDIA, NVDA, and SPCE. The number one holding is Trimble, ticker symbol TRMB, with a market cap of roughly $18.9 billion, currently trading at $82.92. Trimble is one of the leading providers of advanced location-based solutions for construction, agricultural, and civil engineering markets. Trimble would be one of the companies that would benefit from the increased amount of data collected from GPS satellites. It has strong fundamentals with the positive earnings and assets greater than its liabilities. Trimble is engaged in providing technology solutions that enable professionals and field mobile workers to transform their work processes. The company has 512 patents in the GPS domain. TRMB is also the second largest holding in the ARC Q, 5.67% after the Tesla holding of 10.15%. CNN Business has a price target of high forecast for $92 and a median of $80.50. Yahoo Finance has four strong buys, four buys and six holds for the Trimble stock. Five CNBC analysts has a strong buy, five has a buy and five has a hold. Zero for sell and underperform. Earnings projection looks like it's going to increase more and more after each quarter. TRMB Trimble is the largest holding and all these different analysts from different companies really like the stock. They have strong buys, buys and holds and Trimble looks like to have a very bright future. The next is PRNT, the 3D printing ETF, currently trading at $39.84. PRNT is an ETF following an index designed to track companies' price movement in the 3D printing industry. The 3D printing world is still small, so instead of investing in numerous 3D printing companies, they decided to invest in the whole market. Another reason is that ARC wanted to invest is to promote its own ETF, and PRNT's name awareness is not as good as the other ARC ETFs. And that's why I believe that the ARC X included PRNT as one of its holdings and the number two holding. The number three holding is Kratos Defense and Security Solution, ticker symbol KTOS, with a market cap of roughly $3.4 billion. And it is a small cap company. The stock price is currently trading at $28.64. Kratos is a defense company working with the US and the allies for national securities. Kratos supports around 80% of space mission and is one of the leading providers of affordable, high-performance tactical jet-powered drone UAs in the industry. We can see why ARCX has it as one of the top three holdings. It has strong fundamentals with positive earnings, strong forward guidance by analysts, and cash greater than its debt. Kratos Defense and Security Solutions recently got a government contract of $38 million, which guarantees the company cash flow. Yahoo Finance has one, which is a strong buy, four buys, and two that is a hold. No underperform or sell. TipRanks has a price target of $28. Bar chart gives it a 64% of buy. CNBC has a high of $32 and a median of $28 for a stock price forecast. And the earnings projection looks bright, uptrending, and five for strong buys, buys, and holds from CNBC analysts. Next, L3 Harris Technologies, ticker symbol LHX, currently trading at $209.38. L3 Harris Technology is a technology company that provides products, systems, and services that have defense and civil government application, as well as commercial application. It offers its products and services to government and commercial customers. It operates in four segments, communication systems, which serves markets in tactical communication and defense, and public safety networks, space and intelligence systems, and so on. The company is financially healthy and provides with 2% annual dividend, which is pretty decent. CNN Business has a high price forecast of $260 and a median of $225. Bar chart gives it a 88% buy. Tip ranks has a price target of $215.13. And we have 13 buys from CNBC with the earnings projection to increase as well. 6301 is a Japanese stock, so we'll get into the next one, JD.com. JD is a Chinese e-commerce company. The reason that ArcX selected JD is that JD's supply chain system, especially its drone delivery system, but it is a Chinese company. Because of the geopolitical issues and other considerations, I would hesitate to buy JD. 
Currently it is trading at $83.51. And we can see some other holdings. BA, which is Boeing, currently trading at $255.06. Boeing, you know, I presented a few times in my previous videos that BA would be definitely included in the upcoming ARC X. They, you know, airplanes and stuff. In addition, it is both a traditional and rotational company and a high tech company. In the long term, investing in BA would be a good idea. Also, NVDA, NVIDIA, trading at $554.46. Definitely a stock worth long term holding. All these micro the processors, the chips that Tesla computers, iPhones, every, every computer that uses those chip needs. Last but not least, we have SPCE, Virgin Galactic, currently trading at $30.64. Richard Branson's company, we know there's a lot of failure last year from its launch, but the company is planning to try another launch in 2022. The company doesn't have any income yet. The company lost $59.5 million in Q4 2020, and it does not expect to have any income for the foreseeable future. Plus, Elon Musk, SpaceX, and Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin are two strong competitors. Uh, Virgin Galactic dropped 10% after Chairman Tramas Palihapitiya dumps his $213 million personal stake. Tramas is still indirectly holds about 17.57 million shares of SPCE once he sold his SPCE dropped significantly. Therefore, now it's uncertain if we should buy SPCE. CNBC has 5 holds, 3 buys, and 1 strong buy. Earnings are still in the negative. Tip rank gives a price target of $37.67. And CNN Business has a high price forecast of $50 flat and a median of $40. That's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know in the comments if you are invested in ARCX and if you are invested in Kathy Wood's other ETFs. I would love to know. Those are my analysis for this video and thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.